Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. And today we're going to watch from Weon, a six year old boy who fights with a dog to save his sister's life. This is just an amazing, amazing story. Yeah. Um, he was bitten several times, it says, and many celebrities has applauded him for his bravery. Um, so our heart goes out to their family. Mm -hmm. um, I can't even imagine what it would be like to have your child's face bit by a large mm -hmm. dog. Yeah. Um, but the fact that him being only six years old, that he mm -hmm. knew that if he didn't jump in front and save his sister, that she might get really hurt or die from the dog bite mm -hmm. um, is just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. You know, I would expect something that for maybe Anjali's age to go run mm -hmm. and like snatch Jaden out of the way, but he's mm -hmm. six years old. He's, he's not much same age as Jaden. Yeah. yeah. So that would be like him mm -hmm. saving Noah from a humongous dog. Mm -hmm. And, and I feel like he must have overcome the fear because yeah. I can't imagine having a large dog like running at you mm -hmm. um, and not be afraid. But his mm -hmm. instincts kicked in and he just thought like, I have to save her. And that's just amazing. Like mm -hmm. this is the kind of family stuff we would love to see. Um, I don't love that he got hurt. That, that no. makes me sad. But the fact that he thought he has to save his sister, his family comes mm -hmm. first. Um, is just how the world should be. Like, if everybody mm -hmm. thought this way, I think the world would be an amazing place. Mm -hmm. So we applaud this little boy um, and hope he's healing well. But yeah. you ready to watch it, Jaden? Oh, yeah. We have a stereotypical image of a superhero, a tall, well-built man running faster than light, jumping from one building to another, lifting cars, and fighting extraterrestrial villains, and also saving the human race. While all of this may look supremely heroic on the silver screen, real life looks very different. Our everyday heroes fight very different battles and they come mm -hmm. in different shapes and sizes. Mm -hmm. We want to share the story of one such hero with you. And this is the story of a six year old and he's now being celebrated worldwide for having saved his little sister from a dog attack. Now, the name of our hero is Bridger. He is from Wyoming in the United States. Now, on the 9th of July, he stood between his sister and a charging dog. The dog bit Bridger Aww. on his face and head, but our hero did not give up. The Bridger grabbed his sister and ran from the spot. He was severely injured and had to get about 90 stitches. Oh Remember, God, we're talking about a six-year-old. The Bridges aunt shared his story on social media. She says that the six-year-old told the family that if someone had to die between his sister and him, then he thought it should be him. The Bridges' bravery is making headlines across the world. The Instagram post has over a million likes, and Bridges' fan club includes real-life superheroes such as Captain Marvel and Captain America. This is a message for Bridger. Hey Bridger, Captain America here, how you doing buddy? So, uh, so I read your story, I saw what you did. Now I'm sure you've heard a lot of this over the last couple days, but let me be the next one to tell you, pal, you're a hero. So Jeremy Renner, who plays Hawkeye in the Avengers, also had a message for Bridger. He said that the six year old is actually the real Avenger. Anne Hathaway, who plays mm -hmm. supervillain Catwoman, posted about Bridger on her Instagram. I hope I am half as brave in my life as you are in yours. The Bridger's aunt shared an update with his fans. She says that the hero is in great spirits. He can't smile too widely yet, but he's grinning as I read some of your comments to him. Now, I cannot help but be in awe of this little hero. My biggest takeaway from the story, of course, is... You do not need a cape to be a superhero. So true. Mm -hmm. This little boy was so mm. brave. Yeah. I can't even imagine like standing in front of a large dog. Doing it yourself. Yeah. yeah. And I'm an adult. Yeah. Like, 
you get frozen sometimes when large animals are charging mm-hmm. at you. I know as a mom, like mom instincts kick Mother in. Mother instincts, yeah. Sometimes and mm-hmm. I do stuff and I don't think and it's quick. Um, but this is a little boy who's six years old who's, mm-hmm. you know, Jaden was even saying like if the dog was coming, I said, would you save Noah? And he was like, I'd probably run, you know, like that mm-hmm. seemed like more of a you know Better alternative. what most kids would do yeah. and and the fact that he felt like he needed to save her and it was mm-hmm. okay that he got hurt as long as she was fine mm-hmm. i mean that just shows the love in that family so yeah. much yeah. that they really care about one another um mm-hmm. just amazing yeah. and it was nice that the superheroes actually contacted him right jaden mm-hmm. yeah he was so brave. Yeah. It was so nice that there were Avengers to send him notes or texted, text, text messages. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was really nice. They, they mm-hmm. were saying he really was the true superhero. You yeah. know, they just mm-hmm. played in the movies. And the better mm-hmm. superheroes are in real life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, we, we usually think about, like, soldiers and doctors and... Police. Police mm-hmm. and the firemen that, that put their lives on the line. But this little boy did it, and he was only six years old. Imagine we could do when he was older. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So hopefully we'll get to hear more stories about him, and maybe mm-hmm. they'll get to make him... Maybe he can be a baby Avenger. We were yeah. just talking mm-hmm. about that. Or like Kid Avenger, like, maybe mm-hmm. he could be Captain America or Spider-Man. But the kid version of it. They'll have to make mm-hmm. a movie yeah. about it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like when that he was, was awesome. little and he's got his power. Mm-hmm. But this just shows, like, usually we talk, you know, the U.S. doesn't usually have these close tie family values. You know, there's a lot of single moms out there. There's a lot of kids growing up without you know, parents around. Um, so mm-hmm. you don't, and people like, you know, they get old enough, they leave, they go off to college, they move away, and they don't really stick around. Like India, you, you know that the families are close by if they're not in the same mm-hmm. household, parents, grandparents, you know, cousins, everybody, yeah. um, you know, the tight knit of that. I mm-hmm. feel like this is surprising really coming from here because you don't see this as often. Usually mm-hmm. we think about, you know, Raksha Bandhan that's mm-hmm. coming up mm-hmm. and, you know, th- you know, basically saying, like, you're going to take care of each other and protect each other. Mm-hmm. Um, and this shows it. So this was a great story mm-hmm. before Raksha Bandhan, right? Yeah. That you guys can think about, like, how mm-hmm. you can help take care of one another and protect one another mm-hmm. if something bad happens, right? Yeah. Yeah, we have three large dogs. Mm-hmm. Two of them are German Shepherds, and mm-hmm. we love them. And yeah. they really are sweet dogs. Um, they definitely have to be trained. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're the reason they're police dogs is they're very trainable. Mm-hmm. They take commands really easily. Um, but they're wonderful family dogs. So yeah. the people that are there packed, like us, mm-hmm. we our dogs like you said earlier like everybody sits on them and Mm -hmm. yeah maxi he's just a bundle of teddy bear like basically he's our big teddy bear because Jaden and noah they'll touch his paws do different things to him pull his hair and he's fine with it he'll either Mm -hmm. walk away or he'll just be sleeping like yeah and he's like mm -hmm. a 120 pound german shepherd he could totally Mm -hmm. take all of us down but yeah, mm-hmm. but he, too, we are his family, so we are mm-hmm. his pact, and he's very protective of us. Yeah. So, you know, people come to the door, he barks like he's the police dog mm-hmm. he, that he should be. Um, mm-hmm. But if we introduce them properly and he gets comfortable around them, then he feels them safe. So we feel like, you know, I don't know if the other dog wasn't trained well, if he wasn't fault, on a was leash. Was it the dog or the yeah, person was it really, who trained him? Like, yeah. You know, did they not have a fence and mm-hmm. yard? You know, I don't really know about the dog as much. Um, but we know things like this happen. But usually because dogs can't speak and they're mm-hmm. either afraid that, you know, their owners mm-hmm. or the, you know, the maybe the kids were running into their yard. That's mm-hmm. their territory. They're yeah. very mm-hmm. territorial. Like we built an enormous fence around our yard after just that. because of maxi just because four maxi. months old little puppy and daddy's little. like but he mm-hmm. yeah i mean he comes when he called that's the one thing we liked about the german shepherd they're they they're recall they come back when they're called 
you know, if they do bite, that usually you can tell them to stop and they will. There's usually, um, they're very well trained. If you train very. them, they are amazing, amazing dogs. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we built the fence because they would wander around and we couldn't have that. So yeah. um, hopefully the person that has that dog either gets them trained better or um, mm -hmm. something because that poor little boy... But he is a superhero in all our hearts, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys liked this story. And don't forget to subscribe. And join the wonderful Jan family. And we'll, we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.